EFCC will pay a heavy price for impugning the integrity of Kogi government. Governor Belu Yaya, welcome to the news and please subscribe to our channel. The governor of Kogi State, Alhaji Yaya Belu, has said that the Economic and Financial Crime Commission, EFCC, will pay a heavy price for impugning the integrity of a state government. The EFCC had called on the Kogi state government to account for over 20 billion naira allegedly diverted out of a bailout funds approved for the states. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, funds are missing now. Or is it that I'm not, I'm not seeing clearly or I, I'm not hearing clearly now. Funds are actually missing. They were diverted. And he's saying... Allow these people to do their work now. Allow them, these EFCC people, allow them to find out what happened to the money and at the end of it, it is their work, right? If they find out something and it is actually that this happened, the law will take its course on you. I don't support evil, though. I do not support evil. Yes, it is better you allow them to do their work. This time around, it is not the police. It is not the army. They are the right people for the job. So it is, their, it is, their, it is actually their, 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 their work and their job function to actually come and ensure that things go well in the states. And that, you know, the money that is being diverted or, I mean, the money that is given for any other thing, if they give money specifically for a project, that it goes into that project. It goes specifically into that project. It will help, you know make people start being accountable so if they find them they find you know the state um guilty the, the state of course should serve punishment and me i sincerely wish that um i sincerely wish that you know there's a, this immunity of a thing is removed you face you, you you commit a crime you face the law nothing there's nothing like when you finish when it has cold no as it is hot you are taken and you're made to face the law if you're found guilty if you're not of course they also came out and say, oh, this person has been, uh, is it acquitted? Yes, acquitted. And, you know, you are free. You're not guilty. Let's listen to the news in detail. The EFCC has called on the Kogi state government to account for over 20 billion naira allegedly diverted out of a bailout fund approved for the state. However, the governor on Saturday during a state broadcast to the good people of Kogi state on New Year's Day said it as however curious that they are not even accusing them of stealing the money but of putting into an interest yielding account. His words, assuming that this is true and it is not, they are yet to explain how that is a crime if we are not owing to our workers and salaries and pensions the money was meant to settle. Even the allegation that part of the money had been withdrawn which allegedly prompted them to approach a federal high court to freeze the balance of the account says nothing about where the money was moved to or to whom. In these days of electronic banking that is just that is just plain incompetent, the entire comedy of errors is so childish. It can only happen in fantasy and falsehood. Let me repeat, the Kogi state government does not have any unutilized billions of billout funds hidden anywhere. Organized labor in Kogi State was part of every step of the receipt and distribution of bailout funds. And they know we disperse every tranche we received the same day or within, the, within days of getting it. We also took many pages of newspaper to publish the schedule of payment to beneficiaries. And not one person has disputed it over the last three years. Not even our present accusers have said that list, that list was fabricated. Yet, they continue to look for the living among the dead. Let me report to you that we have gone to court to prove that like in previous instances with other accusers, our present accuser is lying. Kogiaites can rest assured that they will pay a heavy price for impugning the integrity of the Kogi state government. There is no more just about me or any political, this is no more just about me or any political ambitions. I might be suspected of nothing in the future, but my state and of course Nigeria as a nation, Oversight function should never be allowed to turn into overreach. Also, the credibility of a key federal agency must never be dragged in the mud to service the selfish interests of those at the helm of it per time. It, I will not stop until Kogi State has received a retraction, an apology with, pay, with, damage, with damages paid. 
You can also take my word for it that we will not be deterred from running the government with the award-winning transparency and accountability which we have operated hitherto. We will continue to drastically reduce the cost of governance, even as we continue to increase revenue across all traditional sources while introducing innovative strategies for greater generation. Governor Bello added that the state government had gone to court to prove that like in previous instances with other accusers, their present accuser is lying. Kogiais can rest assured that they will pay a heavy price for impugning the integrity of the Kogi state government. This is no more just about me or any political ambitions. I might be suspected of nothing in the future, but about my state and of course Nigeria as a nation. Oversight functions should never be allowed to turn into overreach. Also, the credibility of a key federal agency must never be dragged in the mud to service the selfish interests of those at the helm of it for time. I will not stop talking. I will not stop until Kogi State have received a retraction, an apology with damages paid. Governor Bello equally warned particularly those individuals and organizations contriving an identity crisis among peace-loving and industrial Basanga people of Kogi State, that Kogi State in the so-called search for a Nupi identity that was never lost should be one that our eyes are on them. The activities have started to threaten the peace and security of a state. I am warning them to be well advised. We shall not hesitate to bring the heavy hand of the law on them if they continue, he warned. President Muhammad Buhari on Friday at State House Abuja urged the MTN group to make available top of a range service to East Nigerian subscribers. EFCC will pay a heavy price for impugning the integrity of Kogi government, EFC, integrity of Kogi government. We'll of Kogi government, okay. Well, like I said earlier on, if he's actually, you know, if he's guilty, let him face the law. If not, sincerely, let him be apologized to. And of course, the way he was publicly harassed and publicly, you know, embarrassed, he is also come out and of course, an apology is given. And of course, they are really, 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 really acquitted if they are, if they are not, um, if this is not um, a lie. Go and collect the money now. It's all about the state, not you. Isn't the state that hide the money? Government fighting government. Let's patiently wait and how see this episode end. But he who comes to equity should do so with clean hands. On this note, we have come to the end of this. We say thank you for telling us to listen. I'll answer that cameo next time. Enjoy the rest of the day.